Kit Fox. Harlan is taking down a few more trees that we didn't get to the last time. There's the opening we done this past spring, I believe it was. Runway's greening up pretty nice. Got her cleared out on this end all, but a couple stumps there that are just too big to dig. I'm going to have to put our fire pit ring around them and burn them out, I guess. But other than that, she's ready. Guys, we got the wings back on it, working on it, trying to get it rigged up. Uh, we level this up, this mechanism here, uh, quite a deal. You got to make a two and three six, two and thirteen sixteenths inch block that goes in the front, and then you level your piece that you made here for the flapper ons. Then you level the other side, other flapper on, then with that. And then just read your book because it's <laughs> it's quite a deal. This has got to be 11 and a half degrees. This one's 32 degrees. That one's 26 degrees. The stick's vertical, supposed to be. And uh, then you're supposed to have uh, 28 degrees up elevator, plus or minus two, and 15 degrees down elevator plus or two uh, we have 28 on the upside we're getting like 14 and 13 on the downside and we we have adjusted for we've called it good because we just wore ourselves out adjusting i thought the rigging would be really easy the elevator was easy i believe it was uh there's the elevator numbers. It was 39 degrees plus or minus one and 20 degrees plus or minus one. So we did them quite a while ago. But we rechecked them, uh, trying to get them as perfect as we can because we put the autopilot servos in. And the throw on them has to, I mean, the throw is max on the elevator. Use maximum throw forward and backwards. There's a aluminum stop that goes on here, which is laying over here because I messed it up and I got to buy a new one. But this stop here goes on there uh, to stop the throw because there's a chance these are running so far, so big a stroke on your elevator. That there's a real real chance of that going over center on you and locking you up. I mean, it don't look like wood, just normal use, but with the stops on there, they screw into these little holes here and they stop it where it cannot lock you up. It cannot go there. So we got the that autopilot put on. The, I mean, that autopilot servo. Then we got the ones on the flapper ones. We got it put on here too, and we've got the stop set on it. I had to unhook it while I go for the rigging, but all we got to do is reattach the rod, so it's all in. So, 
we're getting closer. The FedEx man brought me a big box, 70 pound box full of Vortex, 6,000 on a couple rows. So we have about 70 pounds of covering that goes somewhere on there. We've been playing with her. We got some sample pieces a long time ago. Susan picked me up some uh, picture frames from Dollar General or Dollar Store or somewhere. So I've been covering them. Uh, first shot, uh, I, grant, I carved the sides, trying to make them rounded, you know, more like the plane's going to be. Uh, I turned my heat up high enough. I could find. I finally scorched this one because I wanted to see where that number was. Once I found that number, I knew where not to exceed on my temperature, on my heat gun. Because these heat guns will go to like, I don't know, 1100 degrees or something. And you need to run in the 300 range somewhere. Uh, my second one came out better. It rolled around the edges. Uh, even did the corners without getting any wrinkles. These are really tight corners. Of course, a, a bigger corner will be a lot harder. And then we tried some on the Laker leading edge to see what temperature it takes to warp it, and boy, it ain't much. So the guy's really going to have to be careful. I still got some air bubbles in there. I don't know if, if I can get the sun, get the glare on there for you. But anyway, I had to do, I had to poke several pin hose in there to let some air out. Uh, so I need to do a little better job at at applying that when I do put it on to squeegee it out a little better. But we're still learning. We don't know nothing about covering. But it's a, a stuff tightens up like a drum. This one I did not tighten quite as much. This one I put the heat here and let her let her bump. It was it's good and tight. So that'll be coming up shortly. Once we get the rigging all done and get a few more things put in the wings while we're stuck start stripping it back down and taking it back apart and we're going to cover the wings first after I do a little more practice work so we'll catch you next time